Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Zanut here. I um, now it's time to uh, put the uh, new water blocks on the CPU and on the RAM. So uh, for the CPU, we've got the uh, EK Supreme HF um, with uh, the nickel plexi. And in order to do that, though, first I got to remove my quick disconnects and the Coolant CPU 370, which has been great. I really like it, but and going with uh, the nickel plexi and the uh, showing off all of the, uh, the the water cooling. I think I might put some uh, Mayhem's um, UV dye in there. But I need to uh, pack up the uh, CPU 370 and uh, maybe selling it on eBay. So if you're interested, be on the lookout for an excellent cooler. And uh, I'll, I'll show you as this goes together. I need to take off the RAM to make it a little more accessible first. And then I'll be... Uh, removing and cleaning the uh, the cooler and uh, the CPU block for the coolants putting that away and then prepping this motherboard for the uh, for the new block and then I'll do the RAM and then I'll show you how that goes thanks okay that uh, that looks really nice the black with all the black and you have some of the you have some of the uh, silver from the IO <coughs> And then the uh, cap's got a little bit of blue and silver, and the and the silver or it looked like the bits power black sparkle uh, fittings as well. So that looks looking good. Let's see, maybe we can get a little close up. And then the next thing to do is put on the um, the water blocks on the ramp, and then see how it looks. And I actually forgot to put in the um, the quick disconnects. And there will be some LEDs that I'll put in there as well. I think, I'm not sure that they'll be blue or UV. Now for installing the um, the EK uh, Dominator water blocks, basically what you need to do is remove the uh, heat sink here with these three Allen head screws out of the, uh, the Dominator um, off the top of the chip. Then clean off um, the thermal tape or compound that they have on there and then get it prepped. Then I would apply some compound on it and then mount the block on top of it. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to do that now. I'll Okay, I removed the uh, the screws, and uh, now there's it's stuck on there. So I'm going to slowly. Okay, so it's got some uh, thermal tape that's on there. So I'll be removing that. I'm using some thermal material remover from Arctic Clean to clean off the top of the uh, the RAM sticks here where the, the thermal pad was stuck to it. I'm sure you could use some um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And that's the remover. And there's this purifier piece here, but I might as well use it. Do the same thing to the next one. Okay, I've got uh, two cleaned off and the thermal compound on them. And since this is an X79 board, there's only four dims in this particular one. Either side, I've got the EK that only sets for four. There is a wider EK RAM block that does six, but this is the one that's the EK RAM block times four. See if I can get this lined up right. All right, put the screws in. See how she looks. All right, that block is on. Just trying to get it centered, uh, but uh, over where all the RAM would have been. If there's four sticks in there, there's only uh, two, uh, two eight gig sticks in there. So. Um, but so far so good. I'll give you a down shot on it. 
um, as soon as I get them all installed. I'm going to do the other side now. Okay, got um, both water blocks on there. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> Not sure it's going to be too much or what, but I guess we'll see when it's got uh, all that uh, coolant going through it. Well, ideally, some UV fluent, fluid or coolant. So, uh, here you go. This is the uh, Big Bang X Power 2 with uh, uh, HF Supreme EK water block on the CPU chip and then two uh, EK RAM blocks on the Dominator RAM. These are Nickel Plexi and uh, I wanted bling, so we'll see. That looks like that's going to be some bling. See what it looks like when it's inside the case and all lit up. But uh, I think the black, black, silver. Too bad I uh, couldn't get those bullets in uh, silver or nickel. That would be uh, that would make this look uh, even better, I think. But I think it looks awesome. We'll see uh, how it looks in the case, all lit up. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks. All right, got the uh, motherboard outfitted with the uh, RAM blocks and uh, connected up to tubing. So uh, let's slide this into the tray and take a look at it and see uh, if we need to make any changes to uh, where the uh, water going into the into the blocks. Either it's going to be here or here. And I think that's going to be the right place because once I get water-cooled video cards, it's going to be right there to go right to it. All right. So that's the uh, tray's installed. And I got those loops just the right height because they slide right in in the tray. So it looks like they're going to go from, from the SR1480 between the radiators and then up and I think we're gonna go to that block right there and then the water goes through the coolant through there to the chipset and then into the second RAM block and then out of that and for now it'll go back to the ra uh, to the reservoir but eventually it's gonna go up to video cards that'll be water cooled right there so I don't know, I'll have to sit on this one here and and see. Well, check that out. There's a little bit of a nice service loop coming out of the uh, top of the SR1480 and then going between the radiators and coming up here so that it can be connected there. I'm probably going to have to do a 45 degree, maybe even a right angle, which I hope I don't have to do because I don't think I have one. But we'll see. So, uh, it actually looks pretty cool down there. So it's going to be going from reservoir into SR1360 out of the SR1360 into the SR1480 out of the SR1480 and then going up into the uh, out into the chipsets here. Let's see what it looks like with that connected. All right, what do you think? Comes through nice and easy, no kinks, and makes a nice smooth curve right into this guy. With no kinks either. I'm liking it. How about you guys? Alright guys, now that I got the rest of my fittings in, I've got the plumbing done here. So it looks like a little bit of tube spaghetti, but coming out of the uh, the RP452, going down into the uh, 360 coming out of the 360 into the uh, 480 and then coming out of the 480 up to the loop and then chipset uh, RAM 
chip, RAM, and then it's going to come back out and go into the reservoir. Um,